this is my home for the day. This is the hallway. We have a table here. There's no photo because we just moved in. We can go to the garage from here, but we'll see that later. Let's just see the kitchen first. So this is the kitchen here. It is sort of the way I like the kitchen. So I do want the kitchen island in my home. This style, I like it. I'm not sure I like it that, that much, but I also like it. We have some open shelving here. We have this fridge, some notes from the house, and a very cheeky comment from maybe the past uh, people who lived here. And then I tried getting water from here, which didn't work. Turns out you have to keep this pressed for the water to come up. Or I just haven't figured out how it works. So we have pantry here, all of the kitchen stuff. So here the island has some storage this side, basically Kmart, and then cutlery. Then we have a double sink. There's an outlet, very convenient outlet here. And then we have bar stools for the Kitchen island to have breakfast, someone can cook there, I can eat here, <laughs> that's amazing. <laughs> then we have a 8, 4, 5, 6, 6 seater dining table. There are 3 matching chairs, 3 not so matching. So basically an eclectic design. This is the most different of them all. Then we can also go out from here when I came in. It wasn't raining, now it's raining so I am not going to go out. But we have a backyard. Then from the dining room, we move to the living area. There's no concept of privacy in this house. From everywhere you can see outside, people can see you. So we have this sofa, a colorful thin rug. I have been looking for a rug for a long while. I don't know how to find one. Then we have the entertainment unit. Then we walk on to bedrooms. We have three bedrooms. Ouch. <laughs> so first, this is the bath area. I love this bathtub. I love this bathroom. One of the reasons of making this video is to keep a record of all the things I like. Like I really like the tiles here. I like the white and black going on here. I do not like the tiles as much, the floor tiles. But these subway tiles, water subway tiles, I like them. So this looks very good. I do like independent standing bathtubs more than the built-in ones. It feels a bit more cleaner to me. Then we move out and we have a study desk here. And then there are some books. I'll check out the books as well, but there are some books. Study desk. I like the built-in portion of that. This way is the first bedroom, right next to the bath. The bed is too high, so I don't want this bedroom. And also because it feels very bare, because there's nothing else there, there are two side tables that don't exactly have drawers. It sort of doesn't feel home. <laughs> then we have cupboards here. There's a double cupboard here and a single cupboard here. And there's windows. go out of this bedroom and move into the laundry. We have the laundry machines here, we have the washer and dryer, also door to go. Because we don't want privacy from anywhere or security, I guess. Then we move on to this side, there's the second bedroom here, there's the toilet here and that's the master bedroom. Let's go check out the second bedroom. I like this one better than the other one because it feels a bit more open because you can see outside from that bedroom, you couldn't see outside, it was just cupboards. There's a double door cupboard there. I like these as well. I really like these sheets actually and I think I'll buy one for my place. I really like the crispness of it. 
Then we go out of this bedroom and here's the toilet. It's pretty small, but I really like what they have done. I like the subtitles as I've mentioned in the white and black combination. I really like this thing. It's so cute. And obviously the mirror is just a mirror, so it's fine. We move on to the master bedroom. Like the living room, this looks directly outside. This is the driveway and there are two houses there. So you can basically look into each other's houses. And this is the same side table as the first bedroom and even the foyer table, hall table is the same so I guess it's from the same company. This seems really old but I feel like these all are fairly new. So the master bedroom has a walk-in closet. So there's a shower and toilet obviously. I really like how the light glows behind this mirror that is something I really want. I'm loving the sinks. It's a very sleek design overall. I'm not a fan of these tiles because I don't know, I just don't like them as much. Terrazzo is not exactly that big, but I really like this the shower area as well, the black and white fixtures here as well. And they have this cubby here for all of your supplies. I love that. So that's basically it. Let's go back to the living room. Follow me. We go back. just make a home tour so that I can keep a record of everything I like in the house and my friends told me that mostly houses are like this I like the space I like the layout I'm not sure how I feel about windows and doors in every room that opens and allows you to go outside what's the purpose of the main door then because the main door has a glass a portion next to it windows in the bedroom they open like you can literally step outside and then we have a door here we have a door in the laundry room you can go out and then you can go directly out in the garage as well so i'll just show you the garage it's not pretty but it's there here's the garage and i think this is the one that opens from outside and I think that one opens the other side as well. But that's basically it. I'll see you guys next time. Tell me like, what style do you like and would you live here? How do you feel about having access to outside from every door and window in your house? And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.